111 Korean ventures and startups swept the Innovation Awards at CES 2023 last week, achieving the best performance ever. It demonstrates that Korean startups are competitive on a global scale. An increasing number of Korean startups, whether they are based at home or abroad, are advancing into the global market. Here are some startups to keep an eye on. Major cloud platforms in Korea competitively announced their investment rounds last year. By securing large-scale funding, they seek to expand outside of the Korean market. Bespin Global attracted investment from Middle Eastern companies, paving the way for advancing into the Middle Eastern and African cloud markets. The company plans to create a joint venture to increase its market presence. Some startups have come to prominence in the Southeast Asian market. Mathpresso is quickly becoming a strong player in the Vietnamese education market with its AI learning app. It is said that the team has acquired the largest number of subscribers from Vietnam for three consecutive years. It is emerging as an alternative for the underprivileged in the Vietnamese market, which lacks educational infrastructure. It also completed an investment of Caro with 77 billion last year. Her square has been collecting data to enter the Southeast Asian market for commercial real estate. The company has completed securing DBs from five major Southeast Asian countries and built the groundwork for market entry. Tridge targets global markets in the field of agricultural data. Tridge, which became a unicorn last year, provides its own agricultural product data to address information asymmetry. Its main customers include famous brands such as Walmart and Carrefour. 12 Labs has won over global investors from the seed stage with its outstanding technology. It prompted a well-known overseas investment firm to make its first investment in Korea. 12 Labs is an AI-powered video search platform that allows you to find the image you want. Bobidi also received investment from Meta, Facebook. It provides a testing service for AI model products. It is also backed by Y Combinator. The majority of mobility startups with self-driving solutions are also looking for expansion opportunities abroad. Strategic investors, including an American self-driving company, a German auto parts supplier, and Hyundai Motor Company, invested Cargo 100 billion in Stradvision last year, which creates A-based image recognition software. It recently finished rebranding, and now it's trying to raise brand awareness and accelerate global business expansion. For webtoon and web novel platforms to grow, global expansion is inevitable. RIDI succeeded in turning into a surplus with the success of the global webtoon service Manta. RIDI aims to grow into a content IP company that encompasses not only webtoons, but also web novels and videos. With a variety of original content as a weapon, it hopes to draw in users from abroad. In the food sector, Armored Fresh is drawing attention with vegan cheese and is emerging as a global food company. GFFD, known for its brand Cafe Knotted, has attracted its first investment thanks to the success of food stores that fascinate the MZ generation with food and lifestyle brands. It showed its ambition to use this achievement as a springboard to pursue international markets. The government promised to implement a variety of policies to boost global expansion this year, including the SuperGap startup project. It also announced that it would aid startups in attracting overseas investment by creating a global fund. More companies are expected to gain access to the global market as a result. Thank you for watching and more information can be found on the Startup Recyc website.